Okay, hi, this is Susan Reynolds, and I'm going to be working homework problem 4B. So in this problem, we have a steel member that's 8 feet long, and it's subjected to a tensile force of 1,000 kips. The member is a W14 by 90. And we have been asked to find the change in length and the stress. So let's determine the stress first. We know the equation for stress equals force per area. And we can open up our steel manual and determine that the area of a W14 by 90 is equal to 26.5 inches. Our force is the 1,000 kips. Our area is 26.5 inches squared. We'll put that through our calculator. 1,000 kips divided by 26.5 equals 37.7 six kips per square inch. Always double check your units. And that's the correct answer. The problem also asks us to calculate the change in length. The variable we use for change in length is delta L. And anytime you're dealing with these problems with a member, a steel member that is subjected to an axial force, we basically just have three equations or three tricks up our sleeve. We know that the definition of strain is the change in length over the original length. Stress equals force per area, which we already used. And we also know the relationship between stress and strain and they're related by the modulus of elasticity. And for steel, that's 29,000 KSI. So in order to find the change in length, which is here, we need to know the strain. We have the stress, so what we need to do is use this equation, which relates the stress and the strain. Strain equals stress divided by the modulus of elasticity, and all I'm doing is slightly reorganizing this equation. Our stress is what we already calculated, 37.736 KSI divided by our modulus, which is 29,000 KSI. Note that the units cancel out. Let's put that in the calculator. 37.73 divided by 29,000 equals 0 0.0013. Now we're going to use this equation. And since we're trying to solve for the change in length, we're going to take this equation and rearrange it. So the change in length is equal to the strain times the original length. We know our strain is 0 0.0013. Our original length is 8 feet. Let's 
that in the calculator. 0 0.0013 times 8 feet equals 0 0.0104 and our units are feet because strain is unitless. And the only thing we have left to do is convert this into inches. So we're going to multiply it by 12 inches per foot. Your feet will cancel, cancel out. Let's go back to the calculator. We have our 0 .0104 feet times 12 inches equals 0 0.125 inches. And that's the answer to this problem.